Well, we've talked about HD televisions and the craze of the new high-quality picture standard. Well, the printers don't want to miss out on that. They've actually recently come out with a number of different HD printers. This is one by Epson. It's called the Epson RX 580. And this printer has the ability to print out at HD standards. It does this by a couple ways. One is it uses the Claria inkjet technology, and it also can print out up to 5760 by 1440 pixels. So high-end quality printing. And as a matter of fact here, I'll just hold this up for one second. This is a photo that we took with a really high-end digital SLR camera, and you can see now taking that from a high-end camera in a raw format and printing it out to a printer like this, you just get incredible depth of field and depth of colors. As a matter of fact, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but when I look at some of the, the blacks in this photo, I can really see the resolution and the, and the richness of the, of the print. It almost even looks like film, and that's really what most photographers are aspiring, aspiring to get. One other thing to mention about the Claria ink, it has the ability to be smudge and waterproof, which is great because in the past the problem with inkjet printers is if you spilled a little bit of water or even got some rain on them, it completely ruined your print. I'll just put that down over here a second. The other thing that I wanted to do is talk about the printer in general. It is an all-in-one, so it has the built-in scanner and the printer together, which is a great function these days. But what I wanted to say is it has the ability to be a standalone printer. And what I mean by that is rather than connecting to a PC, you you don't have to do that anymore. Now that this printer can connect with a number of different devices. You can connect with your cell phone, you can connect directly with your digital camera, and I wanted to show you how some of those things work. Here's my Palm Trio. Basically, just before this segment, I took a picture of myself, as you can see it on here. Then I go into the menu, and I simply select Beam the Picture, and it uses infrared technology. By holding it in front of the Epson here, it connects to the printer, and it can actually read that image wirelessly through the air and print it out. And you can see I just did that before the end of the segment. If I just compare those two there, that's my picture. So the idea here being is if you wanted to take a photo or take a snapshot and quickly give it to somebody, you don't have to go through the computer and do a bunch of downloading in order to do it. It's the same thing with digital cameras. Again, this is a high definition printer, so if you're using an SLR type camera, now you can simply just pop open the cover. I'll just pop this open here. Oh, other side. Pop it open, pull out your SD card, and if you just look down below here, if I pop open the front tray, I have the ability to load both compact, flash, and SD cards. So I simply just put that SD card into the printer, and now I can simply print directly from the, the memory card straight to the printer. Again, getting that high definition quality print out of my high-end camera without having to go through the PC. Some really cool features. You can see this little picture I took of myself. It's a little bit blurry and I have a little bit of red eye. I've, I used a low quality camera. My Treo only has 1.3 megapixel. I can scan that image and actually reprint it to 4x6 and it does automatic red eye remover and color correcting and even sharpness. So basically it uses the software technology in the printer through the scanner to instantly print out that photo and give me a much better quality print. Another feature that I thought was very cool about this printer, it has the ability to print on CDs. You may have seen these before, but these are the new CDs or DVDs you can get that have the white coating on top of them. So inkjet printers can print straight to the, straight to the cover. Well, in the past, you used to have a label printing software that you would load up, and this one actually comes with it too, and you can design your own labels. But if you wanted to, say, use the label that came on the original DVD that maybe you're making a backup from, you simply just put the DVD in the middle of the scanner, close the page here, load the special tray for printing, and I'll just slide it in there for a second. And now you can simply scan it and print straight onto the label, and that's a kind of a cool feature that I haven't seen before. One last thing to note here, it does take the regular paper. It's a back feeding or downward tray feeding device. And again, you can also load the 4x6 paper or the 5x7 paper for photo printing as well. It actually prints a 4x6 in under 30 seconds too on the default uh, setting or 32 seconds about that, which I thought was a nice quick thing because you don't want to have to wait for all your photos. It's called the Epson. It's the RX 580. If you're interested in photography or you want to have a printer that's more of a standalone unit, this is one that might be worth looking at.